The Aquatic Species Program was a research program in the United States launched in 1978 by President Jimmy Carter and was funded by the United States Department of Energy, which over the course of nearly two decades looked into the production of energy using algae. Initially, the funding of the Aquatic Species Program was to develop renewable fuel for transportation. Later, the program focused on producing biodiesel from algae. The research program was discontinued in 1996. The research staff compiled their work and conclusions into a 1998 report. Topic: History. Around 1978, the Carter administration consolidated all federal energy activities under the support of the newly established US Department of Energy, DOE. The DOE initiated research on the use of plant life as a source of transportation fuels. The Aquatic Species Program ASP, was a small research effort intended to look at the use of aquatic plants as sources of energy. While its history dates back to 1978, much of the research from 1978 to 1982 was focused on using algae to produce hydrogen. The program switched emphasis to other transportation fuels, in particular biodiesel, beginning in the early 1980s. In 1995, DOE made the decision to eliminate funding for algae research within the biofuels program. The department chose to focus its on one or two key areas, the largest of these being the development of bioethanol. The aquatic species program ended in 1996. <laughs> Topic. Algal groups Microalgae are microscopic organisms that can grow via photosynthesis. Many groups grow quickly and are more productive than land plants and macroalgae seaweed. Microalgae reproduction occurs primarily by vegetative asexual cell division, although sexual reproduction can occur in many species under appropriate growth conditions. Microalgae are efficient for fuel production and they are capable of taking a waste zero energy form of carbon CO2 and converting it into a high density liquid form of energy natural oil. There are several main groups of microalgae that differ by pigment composition, biochemical constituents, ultrastructure and life cycle. Five groups were of primary importance to the ASP, diatoms class Bacillariaficiae, green algae class Chlorificiae, golden brown algae class Chrysophysiae, primnesiophytes class Primnesiophysiae, and the Eustigmatophytes class Eustigmatophysiae. The blue-green algae, or cyanobacteria class Cyanophysiae, were also represented in some of the collections. Topic. Research. One side benefit was the sequestration of waste CO2 from coal-fired power plants. The researchers were concerned with finding algae species which had a large lipid content, collecting over 3,000 North American species in their search. Work then focused on increasing their lipid content by reducing the supply of key nutrients, such as nitrogen and silicon. Another key research aim was to validate the open pond system for mass production, resulting in the creation of 1,000 square meters 11,000 square feet pond systems in Roswell, New Mexico. While achieving the desired yields of 50 grams 1.8 ounces of algae per square meter per day, low temperatures were found to hamper yields. Topic. Findings. Topic. Research on oil production in the cells The main focus of the program was the production of biodiesel from high lipid content algae grown in ponds, utilizing waste CO2 from coal-fired power plants. The lipids that they are referring to are another name for triglycerides or TAGs, which are the primary storage form of natural oils. The program looked at nutrient deficiency in algae, because they wanted to study the lipid trigger. The hypothesis was that when the algae is nutrient-starved, oil production in the cells increases, so this might affect overall productivity. However, the study found that during nutrient deficiency, rates of oil production are lower. Higher levels of oil in the cells are more than offset by lower rates of cell growth. Topic. 
Acetyl-CoA-carboxylase Acetyl-CoA-carboxylase is an enzyme which catalyzes a key metabolic step in the synthesis of oils in algae. The program was the first to isolate this enzyme from a diatom. The researchers discovered the transformation system for diatoms. They wanted to know if increasing the level of acase activity in the cells would lead to higher oil production. However, no increased oil production occurred. Topic. Open ponds The program looked into the possibility of large-scale algae production in open ponds. They conducted studies in California, Hawaii, New Mexico, and found that the long-term, reliable production of algae was possible. The Roswell New Mexico tests proved that outdoor ponds could be run with extremely high efficiency of CO2 utilization. Careful control of pH and other physical conditions for introducing CO2 into the ponds allowed greater than 90% utilization. Single-day production reported over the course of one year was as high as 50 grams ounces of algae per square meter per day, the long-term target. Low temperatures negatively affected production. Topic. Cost The costs were significantly lower than the costs of conventional fuel production to the environment and society. Topic. Resource availability ASP evaluated appropriate climate, land, and resource availability. They found that algae could supply several quads of biodiesel, much more than existing oilseed crops could provide. Microalgae systems use less water than traditional oilseed crops. Land is not a limitation. 200,000 hectares acres could produce one quad of fuel. Thus, resource limitations are not an argument against the technology. Topic. Funding In its prime, the program had up to $2-2.75 million in annual funding. After the boom years of 1984 and 1985, funding fell rapidly to its low of $250,000 in 1991. The total cost of the aquatic species program was $25.05 million over its 20-year life. The July 1998 close-out report from the program concluded that even with the most optimistic lipid yields the production of biodiesel from algae would only become cost-effective if petrodiesel prices rose to twice the 1998 levels. While highly volatile, oil prices are typically three or more times higher than the average 1998 price in constant dollars. Topic. Future The American Recovery and Reinvestment Act is the largest increase in scientific research funding in U.S. history. Billions of dollars are going into energy research, development and deployment in the present and will continue. U.S. Energy Secretary Stephen Chu announced in January 2010 $80 million in government funding for biofuel research and development. The bulk of the funding, went to algae research and development, while the rest went toward ethanol infrastructure, however, projections for future costs of petroleum are a moving target. DOE expects petroleum costs to remain relatively flat over the next 20 years. Algal biodiesel is expensive in comparison and might not be able to compete with such cheap petroleum prices. Topic. Aftermath. National Renewable Energy Laboratory scientists isolated around 3,000 algae species. 51 varieties were characterized as potential high-value strains, but fewer than half of those remain. A few hundred strains were in storage at the University of Hawaii, which for years, every two months, transferred, passaged, them to new nutrient-rich test tubes. When a National Science Foundation grant ran out in 2004, maintaining the collection became impractical. A review released earlier this year found that more than half the genetic legacy had been lost. 23 of the 51 strains that were extensively studied during the program survive. The losses to the rest of the algal cultures have been even worse.
The really bloody shame is that of those 3,000, there are maybe 100 to 150 strains that remain at the University of Hawaii, said Al Darzans, who heads up the resurgent algal biofuels research program at the National Renewable Energy Laboratory. <laughs> Department of Energy During the Carter administration in the mid-1970s, all energy-related offices were brought together under the newly formed Department of Energy. The hierarchy between the DOE and the Aquatic Species Program was as follows. DOE Assistant Secretary Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy Office of Transportation Technologies Office of Fuels Development Biofuels Program Aquatic Species Program Topic. See also Algae fuel in the United States Algaculture Solar Energy Research Institute Sari Microalgae Culture Collection